Hi everyone, just a quick message before I start my video. Uh, quite a number of you have said there are audio quality issues, particularly when I use my camcorder. It has a built-in microphone and it's quite poor. Um, basically the solution is to buy a new camera, but a new camera is very expensive, so I've created a GoFundMe campaign. The link will be in the description. If you want to donate, cool. If not, don't worry. But I thought I'd let you know. Thanks, bye. Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Um, so, today I wanted to show you one of my crazy projects. Um, so, I'm a bit of a night owl. I like to work at night, and maybe I'll be working in my office, maybe in the house, maybe out in the garden. And if I'm working out in the garden, which is possible, because I do sometimes, I find that I, can, I can't really see properly, because I have a torch which is not really powerful enough to look at my whatever I'm working on. You know, maybe I'll be doing gardening, or maybe I'll be working on the extension, or whatever, I don't know. Um, but I needed a torch. So I made one or two torches, and the batteries run out, or they're not powerful enough, or whatever. So I thought I'd get around the issue by making a powerful one. A very powerful one. So, let's have a look at what I've got. I've got a UASA car battery, 12 volts, 50 amp hour. Which is quite small, really, for a car battery. Anyway, it's a good one. Um... Charged to 13.4 volts or something like that. You can see that I've got, in fact let's do, do these first, you can see that I've got this. Now this is a cob LED with a mounting thing and also a lens. Uh, it's very good, it's a glass lens. Um, this is a heat sink off a CPU. And I've just drilled in these, just anything really, just to keep it off the ground so I can do it like that. Um, or on top of a brick or whatever, you know, I can position this a bit better with the aid of these things without damaging this. Um, so, I've got that. I've also got a boost converter here. It's a switching boost converter, so it boosts 12 volts up to 36 volts or 30 volts or whatever it is that's needed for this. Um, in fact, I've not got it on full power. I could, I could make that um, into a 36 volt thing, but I've currently got this set at about 30, 31. That's because I don't remember the exact spec of this and I don't want to burn it out so I've just set it to about 30 it's bright enough anyway as you'll see in a minute and um, yeah it's just a switching boost converter and I've got some thick wires here uh, these, are, these are pretty much solid core well in fact they're not solid core but they've got solid cores in them they've got thick strands basically about six or seven thick strands um, and I think this is probably I don't know, well it's not 13 amp cable, it's not that, it's bit, it's thicker than that, it's probably 20 amp cable, earth cable. But it doesn't really matter, the earth cable, it's basically just ordinary cable, just with green and yellow, so I've got that, and I've also got the switch. And, um, <coughs> and yeah, this is my outside light, so it's pretty heavy, as you can imagine, it's about 6 or 7 kilos, but um, if I'm working out at night time, this is pretty cool. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you if I can. I'll just put it on this bench here. Now you can hardly see it, but there it is. And that's what it's looking at. Yeah, it's very, very bright. There's my office that I built. That's where I record all my videos. Yep, that's a lot of light. It can actually go brighter as well, like I said, if I put it up to like 30 odd volts. Let's see if it's hot. Oh, it's not, it's very cold actually. Yeah, I thought that would be very hot by now. Anyway, yeah, so it's extremely bright uh, for a little LED. And, um,. Like I said, there's a switch on it, so I can even switch it off. Um, that LED is just from the capacitors. It'll go off in a bit. Yeah. So there it is anyway. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. Bye!